Hi, I'm Scott. And I'm Luke. And we're Android Guys. Give us five to ten minutes of your day. And we'll tell you about a product or service or an app that you might be interested in. Hey, Luke. Hey. It's App and Game Day. Ooh. It's your turn. Okay. What have you got for us? I have a game called Fizz Brewery Management Game by a company called Bit by Bit Studios. Okay. Uh, this is just a, um, I guess it's an RPG. Uh, you are, you basically start a brewer, a brewery. Well, I don't know why that word is so hard to say for me right hey, now. It's all good. Um, a little too many. Yeah. Yeah. That, that must be it. Too much fizz. A little too much fizz. Um, so you start your brewery and you, uh, have to make different beers and then supply them to stores. And you have uh, four people. You have your uh, person that is your uh, brain of the operation, mm-hmm. your, your master brewer. Uh, you have your distiller, uh, your packaging, um, and your um, selling. And then you go and put these different brews at different stores. Uh, the cool thing is you have these different uh, types of ales that they've made, like fake ales. They have a like a Red Castle IRA uh-huh. or a, uh, a Wrecking Ball Ale or a uh, like a like dad's pale drink. Okay. Or like it, yep. it's all like kind of tongue in cheek kind of like um, beer names. Um, and then you have different employees you can hire, like, uh, you know, a guy that's looks like he's in it. Now, when I say looks like all of the graphics are like eight bit. Okay. So that kind of like almost super Nintendo graphics, Mm -hmm. um, really, really like old school graphics. Um, but you can hire guys that look like they're, you know, guys that just brew beer in their garage or uh, you can even hire guys that looks like they're monks. Yes. They came from like a monastery. I see some pictures of regular people, but then I also see like hipster kind of people. Right. And- um, there are, you can even hire like uh, people that look like lizards or like. Gotcha. Uh, so there's all kinds of stuff. It's It's just a little mishmash of of silly uh in this game but uh, in the essence of it it's a uh just a economy game you're just you're making different brews different alcohols and you're deciding um by your stats of your employees where to put them uh, whether they're in packaging or distilling or bottling or the master brewer um and you can have certain amount of experience points that you can put on each brew, whether, whether you want to upgrade the quality of the brew or the size of the brew mm. or the rarity of it. Um, and that'll play into the economics of where you place it. Like you start off at the corner of bodega uh, and they, you know, you are friends with a buddy and, and they give you a little bit of shelf space and then you, expand into another store and then a bar, a local bar starts carrying your beer and then eventually a big store and then you go national. And as you grow your brewery, you get kind of out of the basement or out of the garage into a better facility. You upgrade your equipment, you upgrade your employees and it's, you know, just plays like any other kind of RPG game. Okay. Um, it's really fun uh, because you have to think kind of like you're making, you're, you're running a business. Right, right. Uh, you have to think about, okay, this this bodega only has space for 100 bottles, but this, uh, this brew I'm making right now, I'm going to get 300 bottles out of that. So what do I do with the other 200? Do I put them in storage? Well, if I put them in storage, I only have this a certain amount of time to use them. Or do I try and 
offload them cheaper to somewhere else so they don't go bad. And okay. it's it's interesting if you like um, kind of those resource management or um, inventory management kind of games. This is going to be right up your alley, and it it looks fun. Is it like an idle game that you come back and kind of like go through and collect and do things? Um, no, actually the game just plays while you're playing. Good. Okay. So yeah. So you, so you don't, it's not like you have to feel like, oh man, I got to get back to that game because I probably have all this stuff piling up and waiting on me. Yeah. Uh, it only plays while you're playing it. That's okay. So yeah. there is definitely a, you, um, I could see the reason or the demand for the idle games. Yes. But then there's also that kind of like, man, I'm beholden to this thing because at eight hours I can't collect anymore. So right. I need to go in <clears throat> and clear out my collection so I can start making more. Yeah, yeah. Every two to three you know, times a day to do this. Right. Otherwise I'm not being as uh, effective with my time as I could be. Right. Okay. So this is kind of what you make of it then. Yes. Good. Yeah. Um, and, and, you know, you'll do, like I said, you'll, you'll think about, okay, what beer do I, do I put an IPA here? Do I put a lager, you know, and, and then you also have like market research that you can run. You can run polls and different stuff at the different places your beers are. And you get feedback on, you know, whether people liked this red ale or, or more people liked this dad beer or something, you know, and um, it's fun. It's if you've ever wanted to run a brewery or if you like you know making your own beer at home this might be one of those mobile games that you you'd be into okay um overall i think this game uh is is a fun game to play i don't know how i haven't i haven't beat the game i don't know what the end game looks like sure um i don't know how long of a sticking time it has for me um because it's hard to know what the end game is because I, I don't I don't know necessarily what I'm trying to do. Am I trying to go worldwide? Am yeah. I trying to take over? Am I trying to be the biggest brewery on the block? It doesn't really kind of tell you like it gives you some little challenges and mm-hmm. things to work towards, but it's not like um, definite milestones. So I find myself a little bit like kind of experimenting on what's the what's the thing that's going to open up the next recipe or sure. the next level or the next you know situation for a new employee or something like that so, so. i'm looking in the play store and it says 20 plus hours of gameplay in a single playthrough mm-hmm. but it has um a new game mode where you can do randomized content for multiple playthroughs okay so it's not the kind of thing where you once you beat it you're done yeah you can come back and do different things yep uh, randomly selected events, competitions, mm-hmm. 60 plus recipes. If that's your thing, you're trying to collect those. Yep. Uh, how did you come across this game? Uh, it was just advertised to me. Okay. Yeah. So it came through as an advertisement. I believe it's in the place. Uh, it was play pass game. Mm-hmm. So it's normally two ninety nine. Yes. Um, two ninety nine feels fair because there's a lot of info in the game. Mm-hmm. They've done, I think they've done, uh, a lot of, in-game content creation, whether it's the recipes, uh, because it's not just a bunch of different alcohols you're making. Each one has a unique recipe too. Okay. So you have to get certain ingredients and you can only get in certain ingredients from certain things. Um, and then there's all of the different locations you can sell your beer and all the market research kind of stuff. There's a lot going on in this game. There's a lot of different kind of avenues. Um, so I can imagine it was a lot of work to put into the game. Sure. Um, two ninety nine. If this is really your thing for like making beer and doing a brewery, two ninety nine is a no brainer for the casual gamer. Unless you have Play Pass, it might be a little high to me. Okay, right on. So that the game again is called Fizz. Fizz. F I Z. F I Z. All right. Thank you, Luke. No problem. All right, that's going to do it for this episode of the podcast. Thanks for listening. We appreciate it. If you guys have any questions, feedback, concerns, comments, anything, shoot us an email at podcast at androidguys.com. We'd love to hear from you one way or the other. Uh, Luke, if someone wants to get a hold of you, how do yeah. they do that? 
Uh, I am on Instagram and Twitter at Luke Gall, G-A-U-L. And I'm on Instagram at Scott Webster and Twitter as SWebster77. Until next time, thanks for listening. See ya.